Hello, and welcome to another video. The MX Linux distribution is at the top of DistroWatch for a good reason. Among other things, it comes with a great set of tools, such as Snapshot, which can create a bootable recovery ISO of your customized install, which I think is pretty neat. At the last custom Arch ISO video, a viewer asked about what Arch Linux can offer in terms of recovering a customized installation from my bootable ISO. Well, Arch would not be Arch if it offered the Debian-based MX tools. So what's an Arch user to do? How can we recover our customized Arch installations using the standard vanilla Arch ISO? It turns out we can. The Arch ISO includes Clonezilla, a very powerful open source imaging program. In this quick tutorial, we will cover creating a recovery image of a customized Manjaro Plasma install as the test subject. Use this image to create a clone, break the clone, then recover the broken installation. We'll be using KVM virtual machines here, and some of the fonts will be a bit on the small side for some people, and I do apologize and promise to do better next time. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So here we have clonezilla.org website. Um, it's got a lot of file systems supported, the usual uh, suspects, including BTRFS and uh, NTFS on Windows. Um, so here we have a custom machine running Manjaro Plasma, and uh, I've got a clock a really super special desktop wallpaper and a custom folder on the desktop. So let's, uh, as first off, uh, shut down this machine because we'd like to capture an image from it. And that will be our custom image. All right, so it's shut down. Let's switch to the details view and let's go to the uh, CD-ROM section. And under images, I have the vanilla Arch ISO install image. I've just inserted it into the virtual CD-ROM. And yes, we do need to uh, apply the change. So let's set SATA CD-ROM to boot first. Let's switch the view to the console and let's fire up the machine and boot from the vanilla Arch ISO. And as you can see, we've got the install medium uh, booting up. So let's let it boot up. All right. So, uh, Let's launch Clonezilla, which is included in the vanilla Arch ISO. And there we go. We've got device image for working with images, device device, etc. We'll work with images here. I have a Samba server set up for this video. We'll choose that. We'll configure our network card. Uh, 10.1.10.185 looks good, so we don't need further configuration, so we'll hit no here. The IP address of our Samba server today is 10.1.10.2. I don't have a domain configured. The account for the uh, Samba share is admin. And the directory uh, today will be uh, backups slash demo, that's the Samba share. And we're running uh, protocol 2.0 today. We'll use the system default. Now we'll just have to enter the password for the Samba share. Okay, put that in there. And the mount was successful. We've got 1.7 terabytes available, which is more than enough. So let's enter to continue. 
I'll stick with the beginner mode today. And we'd like to save the entire disk. We can also save individual uh, partitions if you wanted, but whole disk is fine. Uh, let's store it to this image, which is the today's date. And we are imaging a VDA, which is our main um, disk. We will skip checking um, for both input and output. Uh, we won't encrypt today. And uh, we'll choose what to do after this process. So they show the command line that you can use for if you wanted to automate uh, this process. So we'll hit enter. And uh, this all looks good. So let's hit Y to continue. So it, we have two partitions here, a FAT32, which is just finished, which is our EFI uh, boot partition, and the rest will be the root partition that is currently backing up. Uh, the NAS I'm using today is a, spinning, a slow spinning hard drive and um, over the network. Uh, we're currently backing up uh, at 4.5, under 5 gigabytes per minute, so not too bad considering the technology I'm using. Um, so this will take a while, a couple minutes maybe, and I'll be back when it's done. And the cloning was successful. Fantastic. So uh, the image was saved successfully to our NAS. So I'm going to hit enter to continue. And that drops us off to the command line. So it's powered off. Great. So we can remove the CD-ROM, taking it out of the boot list and do an injection, ejection rather, of the media. Good, that's done. Let's uh, boot it back up again to show that this imaging did not affect our customized install. So our custom install is booting up, there it is. Let's log in. And we're back. There's our custom folder, our clock, and our super special wallpaper. All good. So let's shut down our custom installation. And it's down. So let's go ahead and create a new machine. We'll make a clone. So we'll use the vanilla Arch Linux ISO as the boot medium for installing. And it doesn't seem to auto recognize. I'll just put in Arch or actually Manjaro since our uh, target is a Manjaro system forward. And we're using four CPUs here. And our old disk was 32 gigs. Let's make this one 64 gigs. Say for uh, upgrading the disk storage. And we'll call this clone one. We'll customize the configuration. We'll use the uh, public bridge for networking. All right, this will be a UEFI install. I'll click apply. For CPUs, I'd like to follow the physical topology. So one single socket, four cores, single thread per core. And for video, we'll use VertIO, 
Red Hat's Vert.io and turn on 3D acceleration. Okay. And let's begin the installation, i.e. booting from a vanilla Arch ISO. And there it is. So I'm going to hit enter here. So the Clone 1 virtual hardware is coming up. OK. Let's resize a little bit here, make it a little bit easier to read. Move it up here. There we go. Makes it a little bigger. And LSBLK shows us a 64 gig uh, VDA. So that's going to be our target for imaging. Clonezilla, we're working with images to device. So click OK. We'll be using the Samba server. That's where we have our image stored. So we're going to select that. Uh, DHCP is the configuration here. Uh, looks like everything's configured properly, so I hit no there. IP address is again 10.1.10.2 for my NAS. I don't have a domain set up. Same account is admin in my case. And the image that we want to use is in backups. Demo. Click OK using SMB protocol version 2. System default is fine. I will enter the password next. Let me just do that. OK. That looks good. Looks like it's mounted. So we enter to continue. Beginner mode again. That's for beginners. We want to restore an entire disk. You can also restore partitions, for example, and other things. So we select Restore Disk. There's our image that we just created from our custom uh, base install. Hit Enter. Uh, yes. And that is our new larger disk, VDA. And now we don't need to check anything. We'll choose what to do after the process is done. There's the command line again that you can use for your own scripts if you want to automate. So we'll hit Enter to continue. And it's going to ask, this process destroys the target disk uh, data on there. So it's going to ask twice. So you want to be sure you know what you're doing, which disk you're restoring to. OK. And we're off to the races. So it first restores the EFI boot partition, which is fantastic. Automates that very well. And now it's restoring the root partition of our custom Manjaro Plasma install. This will take a while, so I'll be back when it's done. And the clone was successful. So we have a different sized disk. This one is larger. So let's fix that so we can use all of the target disk. So we're expanding from 32 gigs to roughly 64 gigs. So Clonezilla can automate that process. Fantastic. And it's done. So I'm going to press Enter to continue. And it drops us back to the command prompt. So let's power off. And let's reboot. Let's see what happens. So we're rebooting the clone. And there it is. There's our customized Manjaro Plasma install. So let me just adjust the size here. Let me log in. Uh, 
let me change the scale here. All right, well, that looks familiar. Got the custom folder here and the uh, clock over there and a super special wallpaper. So that was good. Let's do something terrible now. Let's open up the console window. We make the font quite a bit bigger. There we go. And then let me go into the Etsy directory. You can see a whole bunch of Manjaro stuff. Heavily arch customization, right? Let's break it. Let's break the clone. Let's kill the clone. Sudo rm password. I'm going to enter my password. So that should really break the system. I just removed the password file from Etsy directory. Let's reboot and see what happens. Should be broken. The clone should be very broken. So it's rebooting. Okay. Oh, look at all those failures. None of the system CTL processes services are running. Um, they can't because the, uh, the authentication is completely broken. Yeah, so you've also got a black screen. So just to make sure it's truly dead, let's force the uh, power off. Let's start it back up again and see if it boots on a second try. Don't expect it will. Yep. Bunch of service failures and a black screen. So our clone is effectively dead. So let's power it off. Let's go into the details view. Yeah, it's definitely destroyed. Um, let's go to our CD-ROM. Let's insert, virtually speaking, our vanilla Arch ISO. There it is. Um, yeah, we want to save that. Let's enable and put it as first boot. So we're going to boot from the vanilla Arch ISO when we hit run. Okay. And, uh, clone one is coming up. And there we go. So let's fix this. Let's repair this using Clonezilla. So we'll hit Clonezilla, hit enter. We're working with images. We're using a Samba server. DHCP as before. Now this looks good. All configured. The IP is the same as before. No domain. Admin as the username. And it's in backups demo. Protocol version two. We'll use the system defaults. And we enter the password. That's good. And beginner mode. And let's restore the entire disk. And there's our image that we created, our base image. Now let's not check anything. Um, choose what to do. There's our command line. And we'll do the same thing we did before when we first imaged uh, clone one. So. Let us re-image clone one using the image from um, custom one. And of course, it'll take a while. Now, one thing you can do if you want to speed this up quite a bit, and if you want to have a portable solution, a portable recovery, it's got a fast uh, USB thumb drive. Install Ventoy on it. And then once that's done, um, put on the vanilla Arch ISO 
file onto the main uh, Ventoy partition, along with the CloneZilla uh, image that you created from your customized install. Put those together, and then you can do the same thing that we're doing here in this video, except especially for a fast uh, USB thumb drive, um, you can do this, you can do recovery much faster and uh, get back on the road. So I'll be back when this is done. And we're all successful. Of course, we have to expand the disk since the original image is for a 32 gig disk and our target currently is 64 gigs. And the rest we already know, let it do its thing. And we're done. Hit enter to close Clonezilla and power the thing off. So now we eject our vanilla Arch ISO disk, adjust the boot options, go back to the console and hit run and see if we're back to our custom Manjaro Plasma installation. See if we fixed our clone. And it looks like clone one lives again. You can log in and There we are. That's everything has been restored. So fantastic. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.